So friends, continue, yeah, let us continue our lecture today on phenytoin sodium. So phenytoin sodium, it is mainly used, uses of phenytoin sodium include, it is used for epilepsy. In the epilepsy, it can be used for tonic-lonic epilepsy or focal or complex partial epilepsy. Okay, partial seizures, it can be used for this and it can also be used for trigeminal neuralgia and then it can be used for diabetic neuropathy then for choreas okay so these are the normal uses there are also uh, cardiovascular uses like it is used mainly for arrhythmias so what arrhythmias is is it used for so this phenytoin for arrhythmias it is used for supraventricular tachycardia and ventricular tachycardias then it is used for ventricular extrasystoles and it is also used for digitalis induced arrhythmias okay it is used for supraventricular and ventricular tachycardias ventricular extrasystoles and also digitalis induced arrhythmias now what are the contraindications of this uh, phenytoin sodium so it is uh, contraindicated in sinus bradycardia then SA block SA node block and also strokes Adam syndrome so these are the different places where it is contraindicated now what are the side effects of this phenytoin sodium the main side effects are it can cause gum hypertrophy it can cause gum hypertrophy then it can also cause megaloblastic anemia because of folic acid it interacts with folic acid and it can also cause I'm sorry it can also cause cerebellar ataxia and it can also cause hirsutism hypotension confusion okay so these are the different side effects of phenytoin sodium so thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you